Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So Audrey invited me to come on here and speak about intimacy and what it actually means to me and how my um, childhood affected me being an intimate person. So I wanted to come here and just talk briefly briefly about that today. Um, for me, intimacy, I actually did a video about the generalizations of how you can bring intimacy into your relationship. And so for me, a lot of those things do apply. Of course, I will link the video up here at some point and down in the description box below but for me intimacy is all about the small things um, I know that I am a very touchy-feely person so the physical touch aspect is very important to me it was um, definitely displayed to me when I was a child and my mother we actually had this conversation many years ago just out of the blue and she said one of the reasons why she made sure that she gave get, had given us hugs and kisses and uh, <clears throat> excuse me, just made sure that she told us that she loved us and everything was because that was one of the things that her mom didn't do for her. And she wanted to make sure that we felt loved. And at times when she was a child, she didn't feel loved because she didn't experience these things from her own mom. So she made sure that she experienced or gave us that experience as far as the hugs and kisses and um, telling us that she loved us and that we're smart and beautiful and all of this stuff. So um, that is something that I thrive on uh, myself and my own relationship. I intimacy, being intimate and... And for me, being intimate doesn't always say that it is going to lead to sex. It's just a matter of us snuggling together or having intimate conversation, long talks. Um, because quality time is just really big. It's actually big for me and my fiance. So I lucked out there. We both really, really enjoy quality time. And so um, just being intimate, just holding hands, um, snuggling, as I said, uh, of course, kitch, kissing, and of course, sex is a part of it, but that's not necessarily the end game. Um, I just want to know that you find me attractive, and I want to know that uh, you obviously like being in my company, but also like spending that one-on-one -on -one personal time with me, and so we're able to speak about plenty of things, and um, that way I get to know you better, and you get to know me better, and it's been working out for us. Um, I will say, not to throw my fiance under the bus, but he didn't grow up with much physical touch, so it is kind of hard for him to display that to me, but he is working on it, and that's the only thing that I could uh, that, that I can ask for is for him to say you know what this is important to you so let me make sure that I put in effort to display these things for you to make you feel loved to make you feel um, important and wanted and all of those other things so just being intimate to me is 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 all about making sure that your partner especially if physical touch is one of the main things for them it's all about making sure that your partner understands you if this is something that you need understand why you need it understand um, that it, it's a part of them making you feel loved but then on the flip side of that being intimate and um, physical touch for me personally is um, making sure that even if it wasn't my actual love language that if it was my partner's love language that I understood that I still had to reciprocate and um, give and show the uh, the things that were very important to him um, as far as us being intimate to him so really for me like I said it all is just about the small things the little things the kisses the touches I always talk about smacking on the butt because that is my favorite so smacking on the butt and uh, <laughs> just show, being playful, just showing that um, you two enjoy each other's company. And for me, like I said, it is a very big thing. Um, it is very important to me to be intimate with my partner as well. So I just wanted to come here and share these things with you. And just if you know that being intimate um you have to understand how being intimate is for yourself. So some of the things that I speak about might not work for you. And I understand that. And so you just have to be cognizant of what actually works for you. That's the main thing. You have to know what works for you. You have to understand who you are. And um, if, if you had any trauma that you had to deal with as a child, understand that you have to 
get help if help is needed basically if you are holding on to this baggage if you are holding on to that and things didn't you know work out the way that you wanted them to go you know like I said you experienced some trauma as a child and you're still holding on to these things then you need to find a way to get rid of them so you know speaking to someone because speaking about your um, traumatic issues can can actually start to heal you and it also can be a blessing to those who also went through something traumatic you can just let them know that it's okay it wasn't your fault and just be able to express exactly you know what you were feeling and how you were feeling and exactly what went down and um no it's not going to be the most pleasant thing to talk about but it definitely is healing so yes if you're holding on to something that happened to you i definitely say get help um but yeah, basically just being able to express those things and just understand how intimacy really does play a huge part in your relationship. And don't just try to sweep things under the rug um, and then try to get into a relationship and think that everything is going to work out because it will not. It actually will keep you stuck. It'll hinder your relationship. So again, if you need to get help, but also understand who you are, what you need, want and desire, and then be willing to open up and also reciprocate those things to your partner. And that is the best way to give um, to give intimacy and also to receive intimacy. All right. All right, girls and guys, is there anything that I missed? Definitely go ahead and give me your opinions down in the, dis in the um, comment section below. I love to read them. You know that. Let's go ahead and continue the conversation. Like I said before, I will link the video where I talk about the generalizations of intimacy and bringing intimacy into your relationship. I will link that in the description box below as well as above. And I will see you again tomorrow. All right. Deuces.